After eight days of swimming competition at the 2016 Summer Olympic Games, we have been keeping track of everything. I'm Ariana Kukers. And I'm Carolyn Joyce. And there have been so many moments that have taken place in swimming competition, so we put together our top 10 list of swimming moments, starting with number 10, hashtag social gold. Now, swimming has been trending every single night on Twitter. It's been amazing to see just how social these athletes have been. They really have been. I have loved following this journey. Yeah actually from trials through training camp and now through the games between Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, we've had some outstanding social media athletes. I would say our gold medals go to Ryan Lochte, yep. Jimmy Fegan, <laughs> Leah Neal, and Cody Miller. They have absolutely killed it. And we have been able to truly see the games from their point of view mm -hmm. via Snapchat, Instagram, all of it. So I have loved watching it even more so than seeing it on TV. I've loved watching it through their lens. Completely. It's been exactly their point of view through everything. And we've been able to hear their commentary and, and what they're thinking, seeing and feeling. And it's been a great access point for all of us. For number nine, we have one team. Yeah. And for me at this Olympics, one team means it's really all about Team USA. It doesn't matter if you're a swimmer, if you're a basketball player, if you're a gymnast, everyone has really come together in supporting each other. I completely agree. And you know, the basketball team, here's NBA players who have their phones out and taking in everything, taking pictures with Katie Ledecky <laughs> and the relay team and Michael Phelps. And what an amazing camaraderie that we have. I agree. One of my favorite moments about this is Kevin Durant taking a <laughs> selfie with Amanda Weir. Yeah. And I think that even showed up on NBC. But I, I love about the Olympics. This is one of my favorite things you can walk into the dining hall at the Olympic Games and there's thousands of athletes mm -hmm. in there, but you can sit down with anyone from Team USA, whether they're a basketball player yeah. or a gymnast or a member of crew, it doesn't matter because it really is that feeling of one team. It really is. And coming in at number eight on our countdown is teamwork makes the dream work. Now, USA has had some amazing relays from start to finish. It's hard to choose one and you've been a part of a lot of relays over the years. What's it like to be a part of a Team USA relay? There is no greater honor than being a part of a Team USA relay. And I think especially at this Olympic Games, we had six relays. Yep. Five of them brought home gold medals. <laughs> one brought home the silver. And even that race was absolutely incredible. And one of the things I really love about our Team USA relays, a lot of our swimmers saw their best races, mm -hmm. their best swims from prelims and finals in their relay swims, which I think kind of goes with the theme <laughs> of this whole meet that it's been all for the team. It and really has been. They've laid it out from start to finish. And yeah. of course, the one to end the meet, we have to go with the men's 4x100 medley relay. I mean, yes. how can you not with Ryan Murphy setting a world record right out of the gates, Michael Phelps' last swim, they did it in Olympic record fashion. What else can you ask for? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> you really can't. So of course, this team has just been giving us excitement all week, and that's why they come in at number eight. Eight. For number seven, bronze as good as gold. And for this one, I really think between Cody Miller, David Plummer, and Katie Miley, the three of those people touching in third place, that could have been anyone's medal in the yep. heat, but we had those three Americans pulling out that bronze medal for the hunter breaststroke and the hunter backstroke. It was amazing to see because you honestly would have thought that they had won gold based on their reaction. I love Cody Miller, as we already talked about it, but he's sharing the screen with the gold medal winner and he is just screaming. He's got his legs in the air. He's so happy. A lot of people were pulling for him as well as David Plummer and Katie Miley. You know, these were stories kind of come from behind. They were in the race and there were so many people that rallied around them for that. Yeah, I agree. And with Cody Miller, that American record swim too, yeah. just absolutely phenomenal. These guys celebrated as if they won gold. But that's the thing, you bring home a medal to yeah. Team USA, you, you go back to the village and you have a medal with you. Yeah. It's such a big contribution to the team. It doesn't matter what color it is. So absolutely incredible races from those three. It really was. And now for number six, the legacy lives on with Ryan Murphy in the backstroke events. And he's coming into this. He swept both the 100 and the 200 backstroke at the Rio Olympics. And there are so many that came before him. Look at Lenny Kraselberg and Aaron Pearsall. And these guys all reached out to him and said, hey, you can do it. And I think that this instilled a lot of confidence in him. I agree. These are guys that you know he looked up to when he was a young swimmer mm -hmm. on TV, seeing them win gold and sweep those backstroke events. And now we have a new guy stepping into it. But the thing I like, 
Ryan Murphy's young. He's and young. And you know what? Ryan Murphy, 2020 Tokyo, we're looking at you. <laughs> exactly. And his just reaction and everything was, was so inspiring to watch. And he's definitely young, as you said. He has a great support system around him, amazing parents. We continued to see you know, their shots in the stands and, and seeing them embrace. And the team really rallied around him. And I think that he's going to become a really core part of this Team USA as we move forward. Number five goes out to none other than Lily King for Walking the Walk. Yep. So Lily King at 19 years old, a rookie on this team and going up against athletes that have tested positive. Mm -hmm. I think most people would tend to maybe just stay quiet about it, but she used her platform and I think she did something absolutely great. You know, she brought a lot of attention to the mm -hmm. sport, had people talking, it was trending on Twitter. <laughs> And I think no one's going to forget what happened in the ready room when she put her finger up, um, you know, and, and walked the walk. She did. And I don't know if she really knew that people would be able to see what she did, the finger wag, but she completely owned it from there on out. And she had 24 more hours in order to, you know, see what was trending on Twitter and have that moment. And, and then when it mattered the most, when she was standing behind the blocks to win an Olympic gold medal, she did. She put her talking into the pool and, and handled it. And it was amazing to see. It really was. And coming in at number four, we have Maya Dorado. She came, she saw, she conquered. Now, all of the talk around Maya has been, this is her only Olympic Games. And she said that that has helped her to put everything on the line race after race. And going into her last race of this Olympic um, session, she had one of each medal. She had a gold, a silver, and a bronze. And she completely laid down an incredible race against a woman that people were saying is unbeatable. You know, no one can beat the Iron Lady. And Maya came out and her last five meters, I still have goosebumps from it. <laughs> I do too. I think Maya has been the consummate team player yeah. at this event. You know, she opened up the meet with a silver medal in her 400 IM against Katinka. Yeah. And then she has a bronze medal in her 200 IM, Katinka winning gold. And then Maya got pulled for that four by two freestyle relay. And that's not an event that she even swam at no. Olympic trials, but she has been so on fire at this meet that they decided to throw her in there. And she threw out a great split, mm -hmm. brought home the gold medal with that team. And then after that, you know, it's her very last race as a swimmer ever. Yeah. And she's going up against Katinka again. And <laughs> I was actually, I was listening to some of Maya's quotes and she said she has never wanted to win and never wanted to beat somebody mm -hmm. so bad in her yeah. life that she threw everything she had into that final touch, broke her nail <laughs> and came home with the gold medal. So yep. she came, she saw, she conquered and she's out. She did. Talk about leaving it all in the pool. She certainly did. And coming in at number three, we have Breaking the Mold with Gold. Simone Manuel coming in with that first place finish in the 100 freestyle. And this is historic on so many levels. Simone Manuel is the first African-American woman to win an individual medal in swimming, and it's a gold medal. And it's not like it was an easy heat. She did that going up against the current world record holder in this race. And she completely swam her own race, which is what I loved. You know, there was a stacked heat from top to bottom. Everybody thought that the race was for second place. They thought that gold was done and dusted and that no one else had a chance. And she came in and swam a beautiful race and her emotion. And one of the things that she said um, that I loved in her after the swim quote was, this is for all of the people that came before me and in hopes of inspiring all that are going to come next. Absolutely. And one of the things I also love, Simone's roommate at this meet <laughs> was Katie Ledecky. <laughs> Imagine the amount of hardware in that room. But Katie said that she didn't care what time Simone got back mm -hmm. after finals that night. She was going to stay up and had to give her a hug. And I think, you know, we've had insane momentum going in throughout this entire meet. And Simone doing this pretty much at the halfway point only kept that ball rolling. Completely. Coming in at number two, we have Katie Ledecky. Two, four, six, eight. <laughs> Who do we appreciate? Katie, Katie Ledecky. Ledecky. I don't even know where to begin with Katie. She has put together the most incredible and impressive string of events. And from start to finish, we saw her swim 100 freestyle to start these games off. She had the 200, the 400, the 800, all in such commanding fashion. And, you know, we've talked about this so many times. One of my favorite moments from her is crying on the podium. Being able to see her just fully look around and take in this moment was so moving because she's been on the podium all, all week. And to see her break down in that moment just goes to show what her character really is. 
Absolutely. Katie has been such a team player at this meet. And I think the success of her teammates around her also really does yeah. drive her. And I don't know if she realizes how much of an impact she has on them, mm -hmm. but the reverse is also true. And I agree, Katie, finally being able <laughs> to let it go on the podium for her final medal ceremony, world record fashion, gold mm -hmm. medal, and just everything, the, the culmination of the last four years, probably yeah. all just pouring out. And I, I think it was just an incredible moment. And Katie's 19. She's going to head off to college. We, there's so much more to look forward to from Katie Ledecky. And this meet is definitely going to go down in the history books, but we don't even know what's to come. We have no idea what's to come. We've talked about it all week, the difference in training between a 200 and an 800. And she said, this is what I do. I've been training for these races for the last four years. She said, I set goals coming into this meet. I matched all of them. I'm going to set new goals and move forward. So Katie Ledecky, we see you in at number two. And our number one moment of the 2016 Rio Olympic Games is Michael Phelps. And Michael Phelps, our Team USA captain, our flag bearer at mm -hmm. opening ceremonies, the greatest Olympian of all time. We are now seeing him at the end of his Olympic journey. And Ari, you and I have been teammates with Michael. Yep. And now we get to sit on the other side and, and watch this journey come to a close as fans. And what an incredible moment mm -hmm. this has been, this entire week, but also the last 16 years, from the time he was 15 to now 31 years old. His goal when he started was to change the sport of swimming, and boy has he ever. He really has, and seeing the amount of emotion that he's bringing to every single race, we see him behind the blocks and in the ready room, and the way that he's nurturing these young guys, my favorite moments, of course, four by two in a freestyle relay, Ryan Held getting emotional, and, and Michael getting emotional as well, and then the passing of the torch to Joseph Schooling in the Hunter Butterfly. Um, just to see that camaraderie, and these are people, you know, you take JoJo, you take Katie Ledecky, they looked up to Michael ever since they were little kids, and to be able to compete with him and with Katie, be on the same team as him, has really felt like a special thing. It has, and I think that we're sure gonna miss him. I know yeah. he's not leaving the sport for good, but in Tokyo, <laughs> it's, it's gonna feel like a void. But if, if one thing has happened, like you said, he truly has passed the torch. And so I look forward to seeing what, what Michael does next, but also who comes in, you know, who, mm -hmm. who he has inspired along the way and that's going to fill those shoes. I completely agree. So, Michael, thank you for everything that you have done for our sport. I, I know I speak for Kara and I when it was just an absolute joy being on the same team as you, and we cannot wait to see what you do next. And that's a wrap for our top 10 moments here at the 2016 Summer Olympic Games. And we are sure that maybe you have some of the same moments, maybe you have ones that disagree with us or some that we maybe left out. We want to hear from you using hashtag SwimUnited. Tweet at us, post on Instagram things that you've seen. You can find us on USA Swimming using Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, USAswimming.org, and of course our YouTube channel. And keep Ari and I in the conversation. Like we said, if we missed any moments or what you think your top 10 moments are, Tweet at us at Carolyn Joyce at Ariana Cookers using hashtag SwimUnited. It has been an amazing week with so many moments and there's so, so much joy around this Team USA. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for cheering for them. We are so proud of you, Team USA.